Yurt, this is Perp, and welcome to the Perp Culture Podcast. This is going to be the final episode. And man, what a journey it's been. I started this back when I had my 100th episode. That was kind of a milestone for me. Um, But for those that don't know, I talk about like movies TV, anime, tech, anything that's like comes to mind, you know, that's all my channel's ever been about. But this video is gonna be pretty much like a freestyle. I'm just gonna just ramble off a lot, just talk about a bunch of different things, uh, you know, give some shout outs to people, shout outs to all my subscribers, a lot of subs- all the subscribers that have been really fucking with me, you know, uh, for a minute now. And I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, like I said, like, it's just, it's been a crazy journey. Can't wait to show you guys what I got in store for 2019. As I keep, keep saying, I keep, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just really excited for 2019 because I'm, I'm going to try a lot of different things. A lot of the same, like a lot of familiar things, but kind of do things a little differently um i definitely want to do more leftovers content you know that's definitely something i have planned very soon uh the first episode will definitely be out very soon Uh, i just gotta find out what type of length i want the video to be and then i'm just gonna put it out uh and that's gonna be a whole series for 2019 you know it's probably gonna go till uh october um what else we got um yeah it's so and uh how about that us trailer man that us trailer is crazy um the us trailer uh from jordan peele that uh that new horror the horror movie from jordan peele um us that shit looks crazy, and I, I'm digging what I'm hearing from uh, different channels, you know, about some people's theory on what the movie could be about, what the rabbits uh, mean, what what could be the symbolism behind all that, what could, um, and me, I'm, I, I looked it up, I looked it up on um, Wikipedia, and I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, because... I remember watching Jody's uh, on Jody's Corner their uh, reaction to it, and H uh, HT3 he he mentioned they might be clones, and I was like, yeah, that would be an interesting that would be an interesting uh, concept. But then I uh, then I just recently looked at um, the week uh, the WikiLeak, I don't, and you know I can't trust WikiLeaks, but it, on the WikiLeak it says doppelgangers. And doppelgangers are completely different from clones, but they're very similar, you know, so he might be onto something there. And I think that's very interesting to see uh, a movie where, you know, you got actors that have to play two different roles. It's very, it's very American Horror Story, like, you know, American Horror Story does that a lot. And that's why I I can uh, appreciate American Horror Story for doing things like that, but this definitely looks like it's going to be a great horror movie. It's definitely, like I said, it's going to be a great, it's a great time to be a horror fan right now. Because horror is in such a great space. Even though there is a lot of remakes, but you got a lot of original, you know, kind of movies or based on true stories. Like Conjuring, Conjuring 3 is not going to come out next year, but that's coming, that's going to probably come out in like 2020. That's probably going to be pretty crazy from... Why I've, what I've heard from that, um, but yeah, uh, us looks dope. Jordan Peele, Jordan Peele's definitely, uh, definitely on some shit right now. You know, he's definitely on the shit. No doubt about it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the doppel, 
I want to kind of talk about that a little bit more. The whole doppelganger thing. Um, that's a that's a really interesting, you know, because that that's really like I said, that's different from a clone. Because a clone is a, like you have to get DNA from that person, and then you know, and then go about your business like cloning that person, making a copy of that person, sort of like how I was watching. Um, I've just started watching uh, Young Justice. I want to talk about that a little bit after this. Um, but I'll speak. I'll speak about like I'll make that comparison, like how there's a lot of clones in uh, Young Justice, and those are like pretty much they have DNA of certain heroes, and you know, yada yada yada. But yeah, that's just gonna be interesting. A doppelganger. Hmm. I can only I can only imagine if that's like all in their head, or if these are people if the, if he's going like inner like outer dimensional type shit or like just that's that's gonna be pretty crazy um that's that's gonna be uh a pretty huge feat i i gotta uh, i gotta say but that's what i i, I should and it's crazy i just put out my most anticipated uh movies of 2019 i wish i could i i would have definitely put us up there if that would have came out before i put out my list um same thing with my best movies of the year i would have definitely put mid 90s up there because mid 90s was tough yo that was that was a good ass fucking movie um actually yeah like 2019 is stacking up to be a really dope ass year man hopefully if ever if all these movies are at least decent at most, like, I'll be happy, you know, but if all these movies come out, right, and all these different shows come out, and they're trash, yo, oh my god, that's, that, I, I know it's not gonna really happen, but there's gonna be, there's definitely gonna be some ones that are gonna be trash, yo, that's gonna be crazy, I think there's definitely gonna be some ones that are gonna be shocking to some people, yo, I don't wanna put that out there, but maybe to yo, what if Toy Story 4 it was trash? Just saying though, that'd be that'd be wild. I'd be kinda I'd be sad, but you know. We still got the other three. Wouldn't really matter, but <sighs> Yeah, like I like I said, I'm just rambling off. But um the Us trailer, I'm really looking forward to that. That's coming out in March, right? Yeah, March. March is a stacked month right now too. So it's like I'm I'm really happy with the way uh, movies are kind of coming out now. Even though it's like starting to become oversaturated, but like they're filling up a lot of the months. You know, now we're gonna start getting a little bit better, mo probably better quality movies in January. Like start off the year, and then you know, you know, I, I really like that kind of. Um, that business strategy, you know, I, I, I kind of, I dig that, I dig that, it could blow up in their face, and they could give us track, like, you know, but, you know, who knows, who knows, who knows, because I, I, I'm not at those board meetings, I'm not, like, sitting there, you know, we, we have no idea what they're gonna, uh, what to expect, that's, that's, that's what the best thing about movies, and things of that nature pop culture it's just like everybody fucks with it man like everybody regardless of um you're not being into it like the mo the film industry is growing you know people say netflix and all that's gonna take over i doubt it because right now disney controls Disney controls like what pretty much the whole box like is pretty much going to dominate the box office once they get a lot of movies going you know 2019 they're going to see a lot of 2019 type years probably every like two or three years or or uh yeah like every two years you'll probably see that you know until like they start consistently just killing the box office with like different types of movies um and different types of content especially with disney streaming service like that, that that's gonna be crazy um 
as long as Disney has adult content on their streaming service, they could definitely give like HBO and Netflix and Hulu a run for their money. If they don't, then it's just like nobody's. I don't think a lot of people are going to be checking that unless they have kids. But if Disney can really get their shit together and make some, I always said that like if Disney were to really start putting out radar content and just on their streaming service have like parental controls and all that shit but imagine a Disney budget a Disney Disney budgeted um I don't know if that's a word budgeted but um a rated R Disney film with a Disney budget would be insane man That'd be some. I think that'd be some next level shit. Cause imagine having that hundred million, two hundred million dollar budget, and it'd be a rated R or some shit. Like, even though they wouldn't, pro, they probably put, wouldn't do no two hundred million dollar rated R movie. That'd be insane. But who knows? The film industry is really changing. It's really, um, it's really becoming something different. And even that, yeah, I give props to Netflix because they have so many users. So, like, if I was a director or if I was ever to make a film, I would want it to be on Netflix. Easy, because it's like, you know, eventually somebody going, uh, that's the easy, I think that's the easiest way to get your movie to out there, you know, get your, because I, start, I started seeing, um, commercials for Netflix now, you know, in, uh, on television now, that's, that's gonna, I really, true, like, digital is completely killing off television, and television, I think, will be around for another, like, probably 20 years, and just fade away, like, disappear, like, nobody's ever, you know, it just, sound, TV will silently die, you know, while everybody is, on these subscription services, and I don't think subscription services are going to be around that long. It might turn into something else. Who knows? It might morph into some more fuck shit. It, it might get worse. It, we that we don't know. That's why it's so crazy about the shit. Like it's um, it's really a toss up. Uh, if we uh, if we got to call it anything, um, but I'm excited for next year. I'm definitely going to probably invest in one of those AMC uh, A-lister, uh, A-list uh, subscriptions. Let me know if anybody uh, in the comments or subscribe to me or whoever sees this. Um, if you have that, if you tried that out, would you recommend me copping that or nah, just say fuck it. Because I might do it either way, but I'll just say let, just let me know. Uh, I think it's it look it seems worth it, but I don't know. Um, I never I, I don't like to get into too many subscriptions because them shits add up. But um, twenty dollars to just see three movies a week is pretty crazy. Uh, I'm, I might just go out. I might just try it. I'm gonna try it though. I'm gonna definitely try it. I'm gonna definitely try it. Um, if I don't like it, I can always cancel it, right? Um, but yeah, man, it's exciting, man. I always, I, I, I'm not, like, for those that don't know, I always, I got into, I always loved film. I always liked movies. I always liked TV series, like, but I didn't realize I had a real passion for it until after I graduated high school. And I wish I knew I had a passion for it sooner because I would have definitely took advantage of that in high school. Like, I took, what was it, a communications class or some shit like that. Um, computer tech class or so. No, TV tech class or so. I, I forget the fuck it was called, but. I had that done it. I'd done that senior year. I was like, damn, I should have done this shit when I was a freshman. I'd been going in right now. But you know, I got I got time. I got time. But that that's my 
That's one of my biggest goals in life is to put out a movie. I just want to put out a movie straight out. Like, if I can get into theaters and shit, like, that'd be dope as hell. If I can just make a movie. And I, I have so many different ideas for, like, TV series and all that shit. Like, I'm about to start really writing, like... But it's, like, it, it, it's extremely hard to just really sit there and think about all these different characters, where they fit it, fit in at and whatnot. It, it's... And I don't knock the people that... Uh, that's why I say I don't really knock the people that even make bad... Uh, bad movies or nothing like that, even though it depends on, you know, who's making it, it could, you can get a complete person that just does it for the money, there's definitely directors out there that solely just do it for the money, and they know they could just do a quick little job that some people will satisfy this, uh, not the fan base, but the other side of the, you know, but I, I don't want to make a device, I'll make it a divisive thing, but it really, um, I feel like some directors really do that, and, you know, and, and that's, and that's also a studio thing too, but that's also the hands of the director to say no to that, you know, I'm not going to sit there, if I, say if hypothetically I made a movie that was successful and popular and gaining popularity like a little popularity over a couple of years they tapped me to do uh like disney for instance came to tap me to do a back to the future remake um i we want you to just do a quick little job right here to the i wouldn't do it i wouldn't touch that as much as i would love to remake a love remake of a you know back to the future I, I i wouldn't want to touch that honestly because time travel that that shit can get confusing and fuck up a lot of shit and make people mad um and i'm not trying to get in yeah you know what i'm saying i would like i could definitely make a drag like write a dragon ball z script man like that shit I don't understand how hard that shit is, but I want to see that. I want to see a live-action Dragon Ball Z movie once again on the big screen. Done right, but Hollywood's got to get this shit together. But like I was saying, I have so much I want to do, not in just my personal life, uh, just on this channel. Um, this is my first full year on YouTube. I started back at the end of 2017 and i have to say i think i've made some crazy process uh progress i should say um you know i'm at 87 subscribers 13 away from you know hitting 100 subscribers and that means a lot to me um, doing all this by myself, the editing and whatnot, and learning as I go, um, just really looking at the people that I admire from YouTube, at, uh, on YouTube, from J3 Entertainment, Jody's Corner, you know, to Viper, a lot of these, um, YouTubers I named in my top five list of all time. And also, I, 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 I forgot to mention this on my top five YouTubers of 2018. Um, I want to say, I want to give a big shout out and a rest in peace to John Schnepp. Another one of my influences to really start this channel. Um, man, like... He has so much knowledge of what he loved, and that's all, and that's motivation for me to just do what I love, and, you know, and for the people that really fuck with it, uh, I want to, I want to do something spectacular, you know, I want, I want to put something, I want, I want to have that same, I'm not saying exact same feeling, 
as John Snap did. But like, if I could do that for somebody, um, from this day, uh, this day forward, for however long I'm gonna be on YouTube, um, that would be, that would be success for me. That would be YouTube success for me. Like, I don't need a thousand subscribers. I. I just want to, uh, I just want to, uh, put my voice out there. You know, I don't, not looking to be no celebrity. I'm not looking for clout. I'm not looking for none of that. You know, I'm just, YouTube is a space that I figured out that it's really my pocket in the world where I could just, you know, be me and express my creativity express my creative uh creative views um and i really want that to show going into next year and i want to hit the ground running because i feel like i got my pinky toe in this year but i want to get my whole foot in the door by this uh by next year and i've got so many i got i got already like ideas for like 10 videos for next month um, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, man, who would have thought, right? Well, I'm just thinking, I'm just talking to myself, but who would have thought by my hundredth video, which for me was a milestone within itself. I didn't think I was going to be able to create that many videos, whether I might've liked them or not. It's just. It's really about just putting whatever you have to say out there and whoever fucks with it, fucks with it. And if they don't, they don't. And it's whatever. And you go about your life, you know, but as long as long as I get to express myself and I encourage everybody. Not just, you know, if you've ever been just kind of worried about what other people think, just don't just do what you love to do. And you can't let anybody get in the way of how you want to make your life, I should say. You know, we all have things we go through, but use that pain and that struggle and that, you know, that drive to push you to do something that you're passionate about. Or, you know, if you got a hobby that you want to start, go ahead and start it. If you want to be an Instagram uh type person be on instagram get going on it you know if you want to be on youtube just hit a record button on your phone you got to start somewhere man you got to start somewhere and i'm just doing this solely just to just get my my point of views out there just like everybody else you know i don't want to be boxed in be called a reaction channel this type of channel i'm just gonna be a me channel you know and a lot of people should just make me channels, you know, you know, a channel about you, whatever your interests are, you should really, really just go for it. Like I remember, um, being on Periscope and there's this, um, there's this one amazing, amazing woman named by Lexi, you know, I hear her talk and she she has so much passion, so much drive and like sh and she's young and be on the lookout for her um cuz I'm pretty sure I think she wants to start a channel soon. And man, I know she has she has some of the most interesting stories and perspectives like Man, like, be on the lookout for her, y'all. I'm going to definitely, once she gets her channel set up and whatnot, I'm going to definitely link her as many, many times as possible and check her out. Because she is the type of person that, like, motivates me to do that. Like, just motivate people, you know. Talk from your heart, you know, Let uh, and people will listen. If you talk from the heart, people will listen. But if you're you're speaking from a place of bullshit, people can see that and spot that from a mile away. And it's just crazy, dog. It's just crazy. Just looking back at my 100th episode, it's cringy. But, like, 
I've went through so many different transitions. This is my third transition in on this channel. Um, well, once you see uh, a new intro, you know, that's going to be my third intro that I've made on this channel. My first one, I still have a love for because it was my very first one. And, and it's crazy because I come up with ideas so, uh, so frequently, just like with this Perp Culture podcast. If you go back, I'll have a link to all my episodes and whatnot. Every single one of them are different, you know. It was kind of tough. I was going to give up after the third episode because I felt like I wasn't, you know, I wasn't feeling it. But thank you to Sydney BCC for giving me one of the best episodes of the Perp Culture Podcast, which is episode four, where, yeah, it was a little technical difficulties on that, um, on that, uh, interview it kind of looked like a uh flat interview but you know i would i would love to just download that and remake it and make it look like a vlad tv type interview but it's whatever but i felt like that's the most comfortable i've ever been and then since then you know i started getting just way more comfortable like every video i'm starting to get more comfortable you know talking talking about uh Whatever I'm, t uh, whatever the video is about, you know, made it, it would it be a, a movie review, which I do a movie review is very different. I'm trying to just do it differently than everybody else. That's why it just doesn't seem like a normal movie review. I just try to just do a different perspective on it, not not try to uh to overdraw it too much. Um. And I don't like to spoil shit like too much, but you know, that's another thing. And I, and I really, I want to, I want to keep continuing, continuing, um, on doing that. Like, um, I know, I know I say, um, and like a lot. That's another thing I want to, uh, improve upon going on to next year is try to not say it as much, even though. It's just subconsciously something we do when we talk or what I do when I talk. Um, yeah, I just I'm I'm going I'm really going to look back on this year. Uh, next year and just be like, I want it to be a night and day difference, but still have that that flavor, that stamp that, you know, oh, this is a perp minded type video. I don't want to go nothing. I don't want to. I don't want to, uh, excuse me. I don't want to drift too far off of what I'm, I'm, uh, what's the norm for me. So, but yeah, I, I, I like, I like the way my channel is going. It's very simplistic, not too much going on. I do want to get more visual stuff out there, try different things see what works. Um, I want to have more streams. I want to, my first, I think my first big stream definitely will be Kingdom Hearts three. I haven't made up a decision whether to stream it on Twitch or mixer. I might just go on mixer just because it's on my system already, but I want to figure that out. I don't know if I want to stream it straight to this channel. Um, but like I said, I got a big month next month, like just starting off. I'm not even, I, I've gotten, I got content for the next 10 months. Uh, so, but I already know I'm going to be busy in January. I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to pump out like 10 to 15 videos next month. So I'm going to take my little break after this, you know, this gets, this gets up whenever you guys hear this. Um, I'm just super excited, super, super, super excited. Shout outs to all my subs again. I love y'all, even though some of y'all don't comment on my um, videos. It's cool. As long as you see my video, that's, that's, 
That's what make that's what means the most to me. As long as you see my video, you ain't gotta like it, dislike it, you know, comment. As long as you see my video, that's cool with me. Like, I'm under a hundred subs, so if I got like a hundred views, that's cool with me because that means a hundred people just noticed me, even if it's for thirty seconds. I got your attention for thirty seconds, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That just shows um, that shows me that I'm growing in a different way. I could be growing faster, but, you know, I think I'm doing all right right now. You know, I, I have a goal. I have a goal on where I want to go. And once I get to that goal, I want to see where to take it uh take it next like but every year expect something different something fresh you know i'm always gonna have content man i'm always gonna have something to talk about um now that i'm getting in touch with different communities you know in within youtube like j3 entertainment jody's corner you know the justice league you know um I see, and, and I I want to start fucking with more uh, smaller YouTubes. I think we we could start something big, like get a uh, get a couple of uh, smaller channels together. You know, maybe start a podcast in the future or something like that. I don't know, or you know, really start to support these smaller YouTubers. You know, um, I, I'm really about that, but you know, this year was mainly about building up my own myself. Next year, I'm I'm pushing it to the limit. I'm really gonna go hard. I'm really gonna be more focused. Definitely gonna help people out. You know, try to help people out more. But I'm still gonna have to. I still building up this channel. Um, I'm almost at 300 videos. I want to get that that jump to like at least 400 by the end of next year. Um. But none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for the people that helped me, um, that I was, uh, that influenced me to make this channel. And I'll never take that for granted. Um, hopefully, one of these days I can motivate somebody one day, you know, to start their own YouTube channel. That would mean a lot to me. Um, there's just, man, these last few months have been some of the best months on this channel and some of the happiest moments in my life in a long time. Um, it's not always perfect in the real world, but, you know, you could always look at stuff that you do as a hobby, as motivation to get you through your hardships in life, your, um, just anything, you know, this really helps motivate me to get to a space where I can feel clarity. Um, I really love this space that YouTube's at, like, at least where, you know, the smaller channels are at, like, I love the energy there, it's, it's the best feeling, man, it's the best feeling, and, and it's crazy that this whole year, I avoided drama, YouTube drama, where I remember back when I dropped my, what was it, the MGK Binge EP review, and that is still my most disliked video on my channel. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Because that was the video that really motivated me to just keep going. Just to keep keep shitting on them. Just to keep driving the hammer down on their fucking faces. And I love it. Because I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I remember the one comment that was on that 
video that stuck out to me like a sore thumb out of any of the other comments. Because you could say what you want. You could be disrespectful, whatever the fuck. I don't even care. But when this certain person came at my channel and came at me, I could have easily just used that as uh, as ammunition for beef. I could have entertained that. I could have straight up killed this motherfucker, you know. He had a way bigger channel than me. I could have just made a video and roasted the shit out of him real quick. But, you know, I sat back and I was like, you know what? I, I was the bigger person. Because back in September, I was sitting at 30-something subs. I think 33 subs. I remember this motherfucker saying, I'm surprised... Yeah, yeah, he was talking about how my channel is trash, and I'll be surprised if you even hit 100 subs. And I'm like, you know what? That's cool, bro. If you feel that way, that's you. It sucks that you have to go shit on somebody else's channel when your channel ain't doing shit. I'm not going to give him no type of clout or no type of, uh, you know, this is the only type of acknowledgement this dude's going to get. And I seen his channel recently before I made this. Like, I went to go look at his channel like a week ago. Because. And, and I was like, man. It's cr it's crazy when you start talking shit. Karma is a bitch. And it comes back, back and hits you. It comes back and hits you in the ass. And. You know. At that time, I was at 33 subscribers. Now I have gained damn near like 60 something more subscribers. I've almost, yeah, I've almost gotten 60 something more subscribers since then within four months. How about them apples? You know, that's why I would love to hit 100 subs before the end of the year. But that's another goal of mine that I have for next year. And I have something big planned for that. When uh, I can hit 100 subs. All I need is 13 more subscribers. And that'd be love. But that's another thing I want to talk about. It's just hate on YouTube. Hate on YouTube is so real. But it's not effective. It's not effective at all. You can hate on somebody all day. Make a million accounts all day. Say blah, blah, blah. You could dick ride for whatever, you know, reason and shit like that. You could hate, 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 hate. But the more you hate, the more it feel, fuels me. The more it drives me to do way better than you. Because I'm acknowledge you. I'll acknowledge my haters. And at the same time, I'll congratulate them because if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this, you know. And I'm used to this shit, man. I'm used to getting hated on, bro. People do not like my personality. I don't like who I am. They don't, you know. And that's not even like, you know, it doesn't even bother me. Because it's just like, why are you hating for? Because I have a different perspective than you. I'm not fucking ratchet. I'm not, you know, I'm not ignorant. I'm not stupid. Is that why you're hating on me? I don't know. It's just like you, it, it, especially other YouTubers that have channels, that have big channels that they don't do nothing. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that have big channels but do nothing but shit on smaller channels all fucking day because their channel's not growing. Their channel is not growing. Their channel hits their peak at like 3,000 subs, 5,000 subs, and they've been on YouTube for like 10 years, 8 years, and they haven't seen any progression. And you know why? Because they go around YouTube just fucking hating, 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 and it gets them nowhere. 
It's backwards, man. Instead, instead of hating, you should embrace people, you know, or don't even acknowledge them or don't even click on their videos. You feel me? It's it's like the saying goes, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all or say it, say it and just, you know, keep it moving. Why are you going to try to belittle, belittle me just because you have more subs than me? But yet your views say otherwise. You could have a thousand plus, you know, a bunch of uh, like 5,000 subscribers and it's nothing. And it's nothing. And but yet you're only getting like 50 to 100 views on your fucking videos. That's trash, my G. That's trash. And a lot of these YouTubers do it. They're uh, they're very those type those people those type of channels are cancerous and toxic and every fucking word that you could think of in the English language they're just straight trash. It's straight just just trash, and they need to be. You know what? They don't even have to go nowhere because they'll just they'll kill themselves. Those type of channels kill themselves every time. They off themselves every time. And channels like mine and other channels that spread nothing but positivity and just give their opinion and leave it on the table. We are the ones that will take over YouTube, will take over, you know, uh, we will take over that space pretty much, you know. All that hate and shit is dead bro it's 2019 and that shit is dead it i'm put i'm putting the nail in the coffin in that shit you know what i'm saying but y'all 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 gonna probably still raise from the fucking grave always gonna fucking hate man they always gonna hate you they're always gonna hate you no matter what they always gonna hate you no matter what man no matter what even if you put the nail in the coffin they're always gonna fucking hate come come out the grave and like fucking cockroaches and maggots and try to hate on you. That's all they are, are cockroaches and maggots. Sorry I had to go into that. I just wanted to address that and and uh I had to just address that fuck boy. Um cuz I know he's not I know he's not watching. He's too busy scrambling for his channel, you know, because his, his channel is a life support, you know. But enough, enough, enough entertaining him. Back to, back to the show. So, yeah, man, if you have a dream, you have anything that you're passionate about, make sure you do it, man, because you never know. You never know what you're going to be. Find out. You never know what you can accomplish by just doing something that you're passionate about. And I want to thank uh, all my subscribers once again. I know I keep like repeating that, but I want to thank everybody that subscribed to me. I want to shout out Sydney BCC once again. Shout out J3 Entertainment. Shout out. Jody's Corner. Shout out Lucky Left Dot. Shout out fucking, you know what I'm saying? Shout out K Dot. You know, he's he showed me love, man. I gotta I gotta shout him out once again. Um shout out John Schnepp. You know, rest in peace. Everybody misses you. Um shouts to just all the the young creators out there, people that are in, um, are about to start a YouTube channel, uh, that started a YouTube channel this year, or about to start a YouTube channel next year, and all I, all the advice I need to tell you guys is just go do it, man. Whatever you could think of on your first video, just go do it, man, and then go from there. And you might become one of the, the next big YouTubers, you know, or the, you know, you might, 
me talking might spark somebody else to start a YouTube. And then that person that started that YouTube is going to spark another per uh, two more people. And those two people are going to spark five, six people, are gonna, you know, and, and it goes on, man. That's what YouTube should be all about, man. Just spreading that love, spreading the positivity and making good discussions, making great talking points, really pushing uh, a positive narrative, man, like. Not let's not now focus on the hate and the gossip. Let's really talk about subjects at hand, and whether it be politics, movies, television, sports, you know, entertainment, anything, entertainment, anything, man. Just let it be known. If you have something, if you have an opinion you want to express, express it, man. This is America. This is like you know, you could do it the fuck you want, man. You could do whatever the fuck you want. When you start a YouTube channel, man, just let these motherfuckers know you could do whatever the fuck you want, man. We could do whatever the fuck we want besides fly. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I just, I'm just really passionate. I'm extremely tired right now. And I'm going to close this down very shortly. Um, a little bit short. Uh, this is this episode's gonna be a little bit on the short side. I wanted it to be a little bit longer, but I'm kind of starting to lose my voice a little bit. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you, everybody. This has been a crazy uh, experiment, to say the least. Um, I hope you guys. Enjoy your holidays, your Christmases, your Hanukkahs, your Kwanzas, your your uh your New Year's, because this is gonna be out on New Year's Eve. I hope you guys do not don't be out here drinking and driving, man. Do not be you know, just be responsible, man. If you fuck it, you, you fuck it a, you if you fucking a bad chick a bad chick. A bad joint, make sure you wrap that joint up, man. You don't want to go into this year, New Year's knocking up some ratchet chick. Make sure you wrap it up. But if if it's a chick that you really love, man, and shouts to the dudes out there that are in relationships thinking about proposing to their chick, go ahead and do that, man. Because I know I got my one friend, he wants to propose to his one chick and I'm really happy for him, man. I want to make moves like that in my life soon. Um, and, and and again, I want to. I don't want to. I I, I want to really let people know, man. Things in this world, nothing in this world, I should say, is impossible, man. If I were to just. God forbid, lead this earth, you know, before I got to really do what I want, you know, I hope to really spark some people's imagination or affect somebody's life in a way. And I'm going to look, but I'm going to look back on this five years from now and see where I'm at. And I wanted, I wanted it to be a, a super drastic change from where I'm at now. That's all I got. That's all I have to say, man. But don't, don't let up. Don't let up. Don't let anything get in your way. Life might seem hard, but it's not hard at all. You just got to strive through it. You really got to just take life by the by the wheel and just drive that bitch. Just keep going. The sky's the limit. Life's too short, man. I've lost too many friends and felt like I couldn't do nothing about it. But I'm in a different headspace now. It's just... Everybody goes through their personal demons and personal struggles. 
And and I'm just here to let you know that it gets better. It's always going to get better before it gets worse. You know, it's always going to get better before it gets worse. It's how you deal with it, how you go about it, how you really maneuver in life, how you move, you know, cut the cancerous people out your life. You know, don't let, don't let, don't let that 10, 15 year old friendship jeopardize your life. If your friend is doing something stupid, get with people that are in the same mind state as you. Don't stick around with the say the people with that dumb mind state that that mind state that um that fuck shit mind state. If you if you see men uh mid nineties, you know what I'm talking about. Get out of that fuck shit mentality, man. Do what you want to do, cause at the end of the day, you are the ultimate control over your own destiny. You have the ultimate control over your own destiny. And nobody can ever stop you from doing what you want to do, what you want to accomplish in life. Um, yeah, man, 20, 2019 is here, man. 2019 is right here, man. And we have to be better people as human beings. We have to do better um, as a society. Um, we just got to do our best. We, that's all we can do, man. That's all we can do to make change. Um, one step at a time is to really stay focused. Don't stray off the path that you know that you made. That path that you made, you have to walk down that. Whether it be pain, painful, happiness, or sadness, you have to get through it and push through it and live. Key word, live, man. Just live. Get off the internet here and there. Don't spend too much time just looking through drama on Twitter, man. Just get off a of fucking world star. It's, you know, I'm going to try to make it my, uh, make an effort into reading more. <laughs> You know, because I myself, I want to say before I close this off, I, I'm not a big, huge reader. But like this past Christmas, uh, I was looking at my nephew and my nephew is about eight years old, almost eight. He's going to be eight next year, which is crazy to think about. Um, Very smart kid, super, super talented, has all the personality in the world. And never in my life have I seen a little kid so excited about reading. And that really inspired me to say, hey, I'm not trying to read like a book a month, but I could start one book a year or something like that. Or, you know, something that's something I want to do in the future. Get better at is reading. Um, I'm because I'm far, I'm far from, you know. Like this, uh, I'm far from the smartest person on the planet, but I'm also not dumb. You know, um, I can think for myself. You know, I don't need nobody to think for me. Um, but anyways, that's just me just spitballing there or where the fuck you want to call it. Um, I love y'all. Um, 13 subscribers away from hitting 100. Hopefully I can get to that milestone by early next year. Um, I have something crazy planned for that video. I really appreciate the love once again. I can't stress that enough. Um, shout outs to everybody out there in the world. All the 7 billion people that are walking this earth. I love every single one of y'all. Y'all are amazing. And this has been an amazing experience and experiment for myself. It's a very, it's a very, um, this, this whole process, this whole show to me was a test. And I think we're just getting to 10 episodes. 
is amazing for me and another milestone that I'm going to have to put in my own history books. Um, I'm going to do some crazy things, drastically, drastically different things for next year, but keep some of the same things. Um, I'm, I, all I could say is I'm growing from here. Um, after I hit a hundred subs, my next goal is probably going to be a thousand. That's wishful thinking. But like I said, it's not about the views. It's not about the subs. It's about communicating with you. You know, it's about connecting with you and you connecting with another three people. And if those three people connect to 10 people, you know, it's all about communication, man. That's all I care about getting my point across, saying fuck it and just do it. And just, I appreciate it. Love you all. Have a safe New Year's. And don't drink and drive. If y'all are intoxicated, make sure, you know, say you have that designated driver, man. And y'all all all be safe. And I can't wait for y'all to see my first video. My first videos that I'm going to drop tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But until the next video, I'll check y'all out later, man. Peace.